Welcome back, guys. So today we're going to be coloring. I put the colors down here. Now let's get started. So first I'm going to draw happy you can see smaller. Now when you're coloring with markers, the cap and the color might not be the same. But they're usually close. But when you put out a marker, it usually comes out darker and gets lighter. Also, when you put it down like this, it kind of spreads out. So make sure you don't get, like, too close if you don't want something to be somewhere. He's basically all one color, but he does have some shadow to him. See that? That's what I was trying not to do, but I wasn't careful. Ugh. I forgot to put the tail in the last video, but I drew it in now. Those are supposed to be lighter. I'm going to have to make them darker since I messed up. But if you didn't mess up, then you can make his cheeks a lighter color. And now, I'm going in with this, oh, wait, I just flipped my cap off and lost it. Uh, I found it. Ah. Okay, I'm back. Just got to get the shadow in. Here, here. A little bit on the tail. And a little bit on the face. And on this ear. That'll be about it. Oh, I keep doing that. Then you can try to blend it in a little bit. And just go over with another coat. Now for his mouth, I don't really have the right pink. Neither for Natsu's hair, but... I'm going to try it. I didn't put the grays down either on here, but I have the gray. Um, there's going to be shadows here and here. And try blending that in. Like that. And then you can go over it again. With the dark green. If it doesn't seem like it's showing enough. Now we're just going to do the same thing for the bag. Actually, I like the way that looks. I didn't talk about the markers that we're using. These are called the hoo hoo markers. It's like 25 for 60. So it's like 50 cents for each, or a little less. This is all one color, so I'm going to color that. We finished him practically. I'm only using the broad tip because I accent, or the chisel tip. Because I accidentally took it out. But I messed up. Anyway. Now I'm going to take a light orange. And I'm going to go through here. Okay, I really got to use the other tip.
And now to make a shadow, just put it on a little bit here and then blend it in. And when you're using markers, make sure you put a paper under in case it bleeds. These bleed a little bit, but it still bleeds. If you have a page under it. Um, now I'm going to take out my uh, cool gray. Or, yeah. I think that's what it's called. No, it's called green gray. And I'm just going to put some shadows on here. Oh wait, no, I did have a cool gray. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. So it should be lighter. Yeah, it should be like that. They definitely give you a good selection of the markers. Now, I happen to ink this with a pen. So it's kind of um, messed up a little bit. Since I didn't have my uh, inking thing, so I just used a regular pen. And I didn't happen to have a Sharpie with me. But, that's okay. Now, I'm going to get into his hair. This is the dark thing, I think. And this is the light on him. Wait, no. It was rose pink. Let me look for that. Rose pink, yeah. So, I don't really have, like, a right pink for him. But this should get lighter. The only problem with inking with like a regular pen is that when you erase, it kind of smears some blue or black into it. Just a little bit. I'm just going to work with the base color. If you want me to make like a marker tutorial, I can do that, or a review on these. 